Hello friends, welcome. Friends, today we are going to do a very, very interesting analysis. And this interesting analysis is going to be so interesting that I might get confused in the process of describing it. So please bear with me. It is going to be very, very confusing and a little complex, but I'm trying to, I will be trying to simplify it. In front of your screen, you see an Excel table. Right. This Excel table I am going to use to figure out that the non-tax revenue that we see in the budget as regards other communication service, which is 82.4 K, which is much below 1.23 K for the financial year FI25, why this number is so low and what does it mean for the operators and whether this number is indicating that the government is going to give the operator some kind of package which is going to be more than what they have given earlier, right? This is the whole objective of this video, friends. And this video is going to be really complicated. So please bear with me because there will be too many numbers. So in order to make the video simple, I have created this chart. Now, let me start step by step slowly so that you understand what this video is and I myself do not get confused. So, let's look at the various columns of this chart. This chart has got various columns as you see here. These are financial year. These are the type of financial year, re reporting revenues, actual budgetary estimate, um, you know, revised estimate, etc. This is the column which is the non-tax revenue which has become the point of controversy. Non-tax revenue, which includes other communication service, is what is it? What is the definition of other communication service? You know, dimension in non-tax revenue. It includes license fee, spectrum free, and auction free, both upfront and deferred payment. Having understood the definition, we can move forward. Now you can see that these numbers have been changing over a period of time. In FI23, the number was, actual number was 62.8K. FI24, there were various revisions, but those numbers were closely aligned with each other. The final number was 90.6K. FI25, we have the B and the revised estimate. We don't have the actual number. The number is 1.23K. And FI26, we have a prediction of 82K where everybody is going crazy. Why this number has gone so down, which means that the government is going to give the operator some kind of package. That's the understanding. So let's break it down, you know, in smaller segment and try to understand whether there is a package or not. Now, in order to understand this number, this particular page, we need to go to DOT's dashboard because this, this whole thing, as I told you, is consists of license fee, spectrum fee and auction fee. This is captured in DOT's dashboard. If you go to DOT's dashboard, you will find that whatever numbers have been spelled out in DOT's dashboard exactly or approximately matches with the other communication service. I have captured this number. I have put it down this number. I have captured it, this real number which is given in DOT's dashboard and they are giving in a quarter by quarter basis. So look at this number. For FI23, it was 64.6K, roughly it is matching. In FI24, the number was 92.6K, roughly matching. A you know, little bit here and there. FI25, the number is still not complete, right? It is showing only 52.2K. So I am presuming that this is going to match with 1.23 lakh crores. Okay, so you are with me. So whatever number which, we, which DOT announces here, in the end of FI26 is going to be this number. So, so far so good. Okay, so you are with me right now. So basically, we have understood the definition of non-tax revenue, other communication service, and from where to get this data. We have understood that. Now let's go a little further. Now this is going to become a little complicated. So you have to bear with me, right? Now you can see that after these this particular portion of the table, I have got another three, col four columns. And why are those columns? And these columns have been individually marked here, right? And I will explain each and every column and you will see that there is a line, direct linkage of this column with this particular column, these two columns, right? 
So how it is linked? Let's understand. The first column is the, let's look at this column, which is license fee for spectrum fee. Now license fee for spectrum fee, DOT keeps announcing these numbers separately in a portal called Saras. It does not include auction fee, but it includes license fee for spectrum fee, which basically means that this number, which is license fee for spectrum fee for auction fee, this number, this column should actually be included. It is a subset. This column is a subset within this column. So this column is a superset and includes this column, which is license fee for spectrum fee, which is included in the DOT Saras website. Okay. So basically means what? If you subtract this from this, you are going to get what? Auction outflow of the government. Means auction outflow of the operators to the government. So let's do the subtraction here and see what is the auction outflow. Then only you will be able to understand what is going on. How much is the auction payment and how much is the license fee and spectrum fee. So let's minus, subtract it. This minus this. Right. This is 39.06. Uh, 39.39k. Right. So now again I do this for the next column. 92 minus this. Right. 43k, right? And then I again subtract 58, 58, I think there's no point because this number is incomplete. So let's be, you know, these are, these two numbers are complete. So let's uh, be, uh, let's just uh, remain uh, till there. Other don't, because there's no point in doing it because this number is not complete, right? So what do we know till now? We know that this number includes everything and this is closely aligned to this number. And this is the auction number, which is sitting on top of the Saras website's number. That's what we know, correct? And we also see that this number and this number roughly aligns with each other, but it may change depending upon what is the outflow with the, with the operators are making in terms of auction payment, which includes upfront payment as well as it includes deferred payment. Okay. Now there is one more catch here and one more interesting twist here to the whole story which is BSNL CapEx. Now, people may say, what, did, what are you talking about? What is this all about BSNL CapEx? Now, if you see, BSNL CapEx is reported in the budget, right? In the expenditure page. If you go to the expenditure page, you can extract this number, the BSNL CapEx, and I have captured in my website. So I've listed down BSNL CapEx. So you'll see that in FY23, the BSNL CapEx was 81K. FY24, it was 86K. FY25, it has been kept as 1.24 lakh crores. And FY26, the number is 81K. Are you with me? Now, BSNL CapEx has got a very interesting twist. And in order to understand the interesting twist, we have to look at in the Saras website, in the Saras portal, BSNL license fee and spectrum fee payment. Now, the viewers must be asking themselves a question, how much would BSNL pay as license fee and spectrum fee? Because the license fee and spectrum fee, we all know is a percentage of revenue, right? But you will find BSNL is paying huge amount of license fee and spectrum fee. If you look at this actual for the year FY24, BSNL has been paying how much? 24K as license fee and spectrum fee. From where this number has come? 24K. Because BSNL is paying at par with the other operators. You know, other operators are paying 24.7K, BSNL is paying 24K. So from where BSNL is paying 24K or license fee and spectrum fee, right? Together, put together. This is on account of the fact that this table is responsible. This column is responsible. Because in this column, there is a capex of 86K, which the government is, has done on BSNL. This CapEx government is giving BSNL money. Money means either cash money or notional in terms of spectrum. Now BSNL is doing what? They is taking the money and the government and returning the money to the government from in form of equity back to the government. So this number that you see here, which is 23.93K is the payment which BSNL has made to the government in terms of equity and therefore it is getting listed in this particular place of 23 and that's why the Saras website is showing a value of 46.6k which normally should be only 25k because if BSNL numbers have to take because BSNL has got a very marginal revenue right 
So if BSNL revenues has to be taken into consideration and SUC and license fee has to be calculated, then this number would not have been so large. Okay. And this number has got a direct implication on this number. And this number has a direct implication on this number. Now, do you see where the where the story is adding? How the how the whole chain is basically working? So here is this number. This number goes here. This number goes here. And what happens? This number goes here. And this number, which is the auction for, goes here. And these two together goes here. Okay. Now you got it. So you understand the whole chain of events which are happening, which is basically contributing to the other telecom, other communication service, which you see here, which is part of the non-tax revenue of the government, where people are focusing and getting and <laughs> breaking their head. Okay, got it. Now the point here is, now let's look at this particular row, where the whole focus is. You can see that this number has gone down from 1.23 lakh crores to 82k crores. Now what do you make out of this? What do you make out of this? You can, one thing we can see here that the BSNL CapEx number has gone down. The BSNL CapEx number has gone down from 86K, 86.8K to 81K, which means that this number would be proportionately reduced. When the government of India uh, reports when Sar in the Saras website, when they report this number, this number is going to be reduced. So let's make some assumption. What do, what do we assume? So let's put the number, put, let's fill it up, fill it up. In Saras website for others, let's assume that this is 25,000 crores. Because we have seen that this is roughly 25, for others it will be 25,000 crores. Now if it is 25,000 crores, this number, right, we have to make an assumption because it has to add up to what, what, it, what it has to add up to. This number is license fee for spectrum, sorry, let me just take my pen here. This is license fee for spectrum fee, all. This number plus this number should be equal to this number, right? This is how it should be. So for that, we have to make an assumption that what should be the roughly auction outflow. So let's make an assumption that auction outflow, here I am basically going to make an assumption, the auction outflow. No, I don't think that we need the auction outflow here because this we need the only the uh, license fee and spectrum fee here. So we know this uh, li uh, license fee of uh, of the of um, um, of uh, uh, the mobile operators and spectrum fee of mobile operators. We don't know the how much equity uh, they are go finally going to assign to the government from this capex, right? We don't know that. But these two together is going to add up to this number. We know that, right? We are with we so we are with each other, right? So how do we know what this number would be? Because finally, this number will be largely dependent on this number, right? Because you have to add up and we'll get this number here. So let me just take this out. So in order to predict this number, so let's uh, make some assumption here. So let's do this. Let's do this in proportion, right? So let's do this proportion. So this is how much it is. So this is, what is this divided by this is, right? around how much 27 percent so let's take 25 percent i don't know what the number is let's take 25 percent so let's take 25 so this becomes equal to this multiplied by 0 0.25 is conservative with this so this number will become how much this plus this right so this is 42 40 45.45 uh, k right 45 k now how much should be the auction outflow in normal terms which the operators are making I don't know. I really don't know. So let's make it 40k because we can just take a cue from the other, other numbers, right? So this plus this, if you add this together, let's do the calculation because this will be what? This plus this 85k, which means that either this number is a little less or this number is little less. So it looks to me the two things might happen because this number is too low. Can you see this number is too low? Either this number is too less because maybe that this, this is the largely a cash flow. So what we are making an assumption is too less. So if this number is, if I put this number as 15K, then what happens is 
that we are left with 80k and maybe the this number is less because this was the year when auction took place so there is there was an auction outflow here right offering auction outflow, not deferred so if i make this 35k so what happens it is 75k together both all the license fee spectrum fee and auction fee put together is 75k so 75k means what it is kind of matching with this number so there is hardly any room maybe a room of around 9 to 10k additional amount which the operator will pay after the moratorium period is over so it is correct to now make an assumption but after this video though i may be wrong i am not very clear on this number i am throwing this to to you for making the analysis it may be correct that if this number is too low then the deferred payment the the deferred payment and auction payment uh, sorry the uh, end of the moratorium period when the uh, the operators are going to make their payment when the moratorium period is going to be over which is september 2025 and the operators are making the payment, then what happens is that there are not too much room because this number is too low. Either this number will get revised, right, later, or there is some kind of relief package which the government is going to give, which will make the, the payment after the moratorium period much lower than expected because there will be two quarters left. September is the, is the deadline in which the moratorium is going to end. And in that deadline, there are two quarters. Within these two quarters, I we have to make the calculation how much because see this whole moratorium calculation is so confusing. Let me tell you that I had done a lot of work and I could not figure out what the number would be. People are throwing the number, but my calculation was much larger by looking at the PIB website. When I did the calculation, I could not figure out in what way they have calculated what will be the payment after the moratorium period but to summarize this number is fixed 25k because the operators are typically paying license fee which is roughly with to the power 20 25k you can play with this number which is the bsnl equity how much it is it may be zero it may be i don't know because i can see it from this number there is a 24k of equity bsnl is paying and this year also they will pay a substantial equity in order to make up this number Otherwise, how will you make up this number? It is not going to come up, this number. There will be a, a you know, allocation to the government of India. Maybe there is not much here because this may be largely cash flow. It may be. I don't know. So depending upon what this number is, there will be room to play with. Otherwise, this number is fixed. This number will be largely fixed because this is a continuum coming from this. Maybe this is 30K. I don't know. So there is not much room to play with to this number because if you re even if you reduce this number to 70k we are left with only 15k i don't know how to do this calculation so friends this is the end of this video i have just given you a method to triangulate this number to see that what will be the moratorium payment or what will be the payment after the end of the moratorium period given this number is fixed and this number which is a continuing of the deferred payment and the upfront payment so actually it will be largely deferred payment you can still reduce this you can make it because there was an upfront payment in this particular year and this was also you know in year 2022 there is some auction so if this, if this number goes out to 30k let's say so you are left with around 15k depending upon what this number is but still this number is too low from the point of view of Payments the operators have to may make to the government at the end of the moratorium period. Anyway, friends, I won't go and do any more speculation. This chart is right in front of you. You can pause this video and look at this chart and make your own judgment. That's all I can say. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much for your time. I'll come back with a new video next time. Hope this video was useful. Thanks, thanks a lot for watching till the end.